Hey, saints, TIs, angels of the most high. Today is uh, August 3rd, 2021. Um, and you know what I'm about to say. The enemy is done, son. <laughs> and we're about to go home. <laughs> Father gave me this song this morning by the Newsboys. They are an awesome band if y'all haven't listened to them. Check them out. Um, my new favorite album is called Love Riot. And Father gave me that song over the past week when I was really being attacked. They were coming in the house three times in five days. And I made a video about that, uh, the one before last. And uh, now I've relocated. And of course, when I get here, I'm greeted by a leaf blower. Um, I'm greeted by slamming trash cans out the back door, out the side door, a broken car, which looks brand new on the side. It's white this time instead of black. And they're rotating off on white vans. Um, I've got a lot of uh, things that I've documented that I'm going to come back on. And this will be specifically for targeted, empowered, chosen individuals, God's elect, because that's who you are. That's why you're being tormented and harassed. I may, um, I may show it on this video, actually, depending on how long it goes. But if not, I'm just going to come back on and show y'all the video of the man that intruded. Um, they did it to me uh, three times, but I only got once on video. So I did get part of it, though, so praise the Lord for that. But what I want to tell y'all is what Father's shown me. So this morning, I woke up with the song, Family of God. I didn't even know the name of it. And it's by the Newsboys. So last week, the Lord had given me Love Riot by the Newsboys. And today, it's Family of God. Um, I put it in the last video. Um, I don't have the lyrics ready to read to y'all, but check it out, okay? I put the uh, link or just type it in because if I'm led by the Holy Spirit to delete that last video, it's only a minute and a half because I played the beginning of the song. Um, or want a part of the lyrics of the song because I felt really strongly that Father wanted y'all to hear the band singing instead of my boss and, and hear, the, hear the pretty music and it would make more of an impact. And what it says is, this is a message to the saints. The tables have been set, so take your place. There is no more condemnation, only grace. All right, I'm not going to read the rest of it but that is specifically for us we are about to go home i have got major major confirmation on this starting with i came into this this new place that i got after the last place was being completely invaded they um they broke in the back door where i couldn't lock the lock then they came in claiming they were with the fire department but they knew the passcode to the to the key keypad on the door because it was a temporary you, you know weekly place came in not knocking and wanted to check the fire extinguisher not even the alarm the extinguisher claiming they're from the fire department yeah right then uh two more invasions one with a leaf blower standing on the porch by the door and all there is is a little table and two chairs matter of fact i'll just show you all so this is part of it so he came in at about 9 30 in the morning all right and i'm in the other room and i was startled because i heard the keypad going off and then there's a man in the, in the place and i wasn't supposed to check out till the next day and even if i was supposed to check out that day which i wasn't and i had uh, i had a receipt and all that if you're targeted, you have to always have major backup on everything because they're always doing this beep. But um, I wasn't going to make this about me, but I just want to have this documentation in case they hack into my phone again or steal it so that it's um, in a couple of places. But checkout's not till 11. Even if it's 10, I know the earliest is 10. It was like 9.30 and there's they're supposed to knock anyway, but I wasn't supposed to check out till the next day. So he entered illegally without even knocking the first time. So there's a man standing in there. 
And then he played like he couldn't understand English, which was a lie. Because the second video, well, I, I didn't take a picture. I didn't video the first one because I think I just got out of the shower. I didn't have my phone by the time he was in the house. You know, I'm not expecting it. And then when the woman came in about four days before that, five days before that maybe, she claimed she was with the fire department. But she had a code to the, to the door. She said she didn't think anybody was there because I was supposed to have already been gone. Yeah. So whatever, um, not gone moving out, but I was going to do something and I was about to leave and I Googled it and then I got sidetracked. So they probably really thought I had left. This is what they do. These are tactics of Satan's seed, the serpent, which is who we're battling, TIs. If you don't know, this is 90% spiritual and 10% physical battle. This is an ancient battle. This has been going on since creation. If you are an empowered, targeted, persecuted individual, you are ancient. Father created us at the beginning, the very beginning. Yes, we knew Jesus up there. A lot of us are angels that have been sent back in this final hour to spread light, heal the sick, save souls, and battle these fallen AS, AS aces, the aces, <laughs> the fallen angels that are coming against some of us. The higher you're target, the more you're targeted, you're probably being attacked by a fallen because you are one of God's angels, a light being, and they know us because we all were up there in heaven together. And the 200 angels that chose to fall with Lucifer, the lion loser, know us. So they're after us. There is a movie I recommend y'all seeing. It is kind of a dark movie, which I don't like watching. The Lord guided me to this movie. No one told me about it. It was Father about three or four years ago. Okay? It's called Gabriel, which I'm very connected to Archangel Gabriel. And... Um, but it's not I am Gabriel with a little boy. It's like a dark movie, okay? Um, it's not super graphic or anything, but it is, you know, there's some blood in there, which I don't like watching. But the Lord said, this is what you are dealing with right now. And a lot of us that are highly targeted, persecuted angels, we have, uh, have in the past, okay, had drinking problems, or some have uh, got hooked on prescription pills or drugs, whatever your drug of choice is. Some might overeat. Um, some may smoke. Have addictions, okay? Because we don't have the same DNA as regular humans. I know this sounds bizarre, but Father has confirmed this time and time again. So if we have one drink or one cigarette or whatever it is that you do, um, it harms us even more so. Plus, they poison us as well, these reptilians, okay? But um, a lot of us also have these addictions because we are highly empathetic. We feel other people's pain. We feel other people's negative energy and as well as positive, but it's mostly all negative that surrounds us. They keep us isolated so that we can't connect because we're already as powerful. It says in the Bible, it says in Scripture, Father's Word says, thousands will fall at one of our, one of our sides, okay? Meaning, if you're one of God's children, God's elect, and you have the Holy Spirit, we can take out thousands, all right? But we're here to heal, pray, spread light, spread hope, spread truth, call out the evil, and uh, preach the good word, which Jesus did as well. So we're highly persecuted. We're hated because we're speaking truth. And what is Satan? The father of lies. These people that are living for the world and worldly things, they lie. That's what they do. Why do you think they accuse us of lying? Because that's what they do. I've had people that are not on Team Jesus throughout the, you know, throughout my life, throughout the world, say, oh, I thought you were going to do this because I did this and they would do something mean to me, but I never, ever, not once, ever in my whole life, as God is my witness, have retaliated to anything ever anyone has done to me, ever. And uh, I always knew that it's like, 
it's not it's not worth harming my soul i don't have that in me and i know all of y'all on this channel that are truly following jesus you don't have it in you either some of these things people told me to do after they heard some rotten things others did to me like they broke into my house about well wasn't my house but the place i rented back in 2012 right before they poisoned and killed my dog and laughed about him and they destroyed every antique i had they they stole all my photo albums. They spray painted everything black and red, including the light bulbs, the windows. They put Mardi Gras beads. This was in New Orleans. They put Mardi Gras beads in the toilet, overflowing the toilet. They put dead rats in the house, all kinds of stuff, evil. They spray painted voodoo symbols all over the walls. And of course, I'm liable for all the damage because the cops said it was my fault when I called them. This is before the Lord said, don't involve them. Once I really started following Jesus, the Lord revealed to me that cops are part of the system. They are under, some might not actually be evil, but they're under heavy mind control or they're living in fear. And a lot of them are just evil narcissists that get into law enforcement to harass and bully and stalk and have a reason to harm others. But there's some that might actually get into it for the right reasons. This is for you, police officers and military, government agents and FBI, CIA, gumbo soup is what I call y'all. If y'all know the evil they're doing and you're not saying anything, even if you're not doing it, you're going to be held accountable by, to the Most High God for what you've done. And you are going to be judged for it. It is not worth your soul to keep your little piddly job that's about to be over with. Please stand up for what's right and stand up and speak out for those that are being harmed by the majority which is the satanic system that's why this world is under god's righteous judgment just like in the days of noah they will be eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until jesus comes back and that's what's going on they're going to be they're going to be caught off guard but we who have been chosen who are awake who've been chosen by the most high god we're watching we're watching patiently and waiting expectantly, aren't we? And Jesus says, who is it? It's Jesus. I'm at your door. He's knocking on your heart, especially for law enforcement who have tormented me my whole life. I don't hate y'all. I was mad the other day, but I don't hate y'all. Um, even when I got raped, y'all didn't help me. Y'all done a lot of things to set me up and make me to where I can't drive now. But guess what? It's a, It's been a blessing because it's made me stronger to have to walk everywhere. It keeps me in somewhat good shape. Although lately, I haven't walked that much because of the heat. And the fervent heat is on. That's part of God's judgment. But anyway, there's a woman in red outside right now. But you want to see? She's peeking in the window. This is what they do. They peek and stare. Hopefully y'all can see her. And just watch. Hopefully y'all see it. Okay, so anyway. Um, see how that got me off track, Jack? We're going to need a bigger boat. And even that's funny. I have got major confirmation that we're about to go home and that the jig is up. Finally found you. Um, the jig is up for these satanic sellouts. The... Money and houses and vacations and cars are irrelevant. They're not going to they're not going to be able to take them. They're not they're not going into the lake of fire. The, all the crap that y'all uh, sellouts have gotten for harming God's elect are those that won't play the game and be evil and harm others and murder and lie and spy and sacrifice pets and kids and babies and all the sick stuff y'all do. You're not going to take it with you. You're going into the lake of fire. And even if you could take it with you, it'll burn. It'll melt. With fervent heat, the Lord keeps telling me. So I'm asking all law enforcement that don't like what they're seeing, that aren't part of the satanic system. Well, you're part of it by not speaking out. But if you're not participating, you just think, well, I'm not doing anything. I'm just not saying anything. You're still participating. You're going to be held accountable. Just like as if somebody commits a crime and you're you're with them. You're also part of it. You 
say, please stand up. You don't have much time left. The Lord is the Lord is begging people to repent and turn to Jesus Christ. It is our only hope. How do you think I'm happy? Most of the time I'm happy and joyful and I don't have fear in the midst of all this crazy chaos and being being made homeless. Even though I have a roof again, I have a roof, but you know what I mean. I never know from week to week where I'm going to be or if they'll allow me anywhere. How do you think that I stay positive? It's because of the Most High God, the Holy Spirit. He gives us joy in the midst of all this craziness. And we don't have fear. So I'm asking y'all to repent and stand up for what's right. And stop gang stalking your neighbor. Also, the Lord told me this before and he reminded me of it. When it says, love your neighbor as thyself, yet all persecuted, targeted, chosen individuals are harassed and stalked and, and uh, set up and even houses broken into, no matter where you go, by your supposed neighbors. And you're thinking, love your neighbor as yourself. They don't even know me and they're already harming me as soon as I get there, which is what they did. Wait till y'all hear this. Wait till y'all hear this. <laughs> it's crazy but true what happened to me yesterday so um and then i'm going to get to this the st stuff that the lord showed me on how we're going home more and more and more confirmations that we're going home um so oh and by the way i have palm trees out all windows remember i said the last probably since since the beginning of this year every place i rent which is literally about every one to two weeks i have to move one time I stayed somewhere like two months. There's palm trees out each window or at least out the, if there's only one window, it's out that window. And the Lord said that signifies my son coming to get you. The palm branch waving in the wind. Isn't that amazing? Like when Jesus rode the donkey in. So if you're having signs of a palm tree, a palm branch, just take that as a positive sign. So... Um, what's that? All right, so yesterday I got to another place after they did this. So let me show you this. Let me clear my throat and then I'm going to get on with some scripture that the Lord has shown me. So I told you all about at the last place I was, I made a long video because I was pissed, and, but I never retaliate. What I do is I, uh, I come on and I vent on here to, with my true family. The ones on here that are God's elect, you know who you are. Because about 60% of this channel is stalkers. But anyway, because they watch, that's what they do. They've watched since the beginning of time. This is an ancient program, I'm telling y'all. Jesus and all the disciples were targeted individuals. All of them. The Nazis did this, the Roman soldiers. Why do you think they use red for a lot of us? The Templar Knights, the Nazi soldiers, the, uh, the Catholic Church, the Roman soldiers all wore red. What is red? It signifies blood. They're mocking the blood of Jesus. Well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad they're mocking because I'm glad I'm considered worthy to, to go home. And be with Jesus. So here's the video of the man that came in. So what happened was, hold on. I didn't get but just a minute of his face because I'm not rude like they are. Okay, hold on. And uh, I'm not rude like they are. They are taking pictures with their camera like this far from your face when we enter or exit a place. But I just wanted to try to get a little bit of it because it happened twice. So the lady came in claiming she was with the fire department. She had a passcode to my door. Yeah. Wants to check the, didn't knock, or she may have knocked and I didn't hear it because I was in the back. But still, what fire department has a passcode to your door? They do because they're part of it. And... Then when I asked her how'd she get the passcode, she said, oh, don't worry, I won't use it again. So that's what these narcissistic, satanic, bumbling buffoons do. They never answer. We're supposed to be interrogated as a TI. 
We're supposed to answer all their interrogated questions. How old's your dog? Where'd you get your dog? How long do you have it? Why'd you name it that? How much does it weigh? Boy or girl, is she spayed? I mean, I've literally had those questions drilled at me. Just That's just an example. I mean, this is about anything. Oh, how long? When did you get here? Where are you from? What's your name? What's your last name? How do you spell it? Oh, are you married? I mean, really, to, to just move into a new place, people will drill me with this stuff that makes no sense. It's none of their business. Anyway, if I want to tell a guy, take take a, how, what does it go? How does it go? If I want to take a guy home with me tonight, none of your business. <laughs> wow, I think that's salt and pepper. Wow, we're the salt and they're the pepper. <laughs> we are the light of the world, the salt of the world, right? And they're the darkness. The pepper. Darkness. Oh, darkness. <laughs> Remember that? Eddie Murphy? F yo couch. F yo couch. <laughs> Y'all probably don't know what I'm talking about. It was Dave Chappelle. I love him, man. Guess what? Dave Chappelle was targeted. That thing that's pretending to be Dave Chappelle, that's not him, y'all. I don't know what it is. It's not Dave Chappelle. They, they probably killed him, and we're going to see him in heaven. He was a kind heart. He was a true speaker. He didn't care about money. He wanted out of it. They wouldn't leave him alone. So what do they do? The same old thing they tell about all of us. She's insane. He's crazy. They must be watched and stalked and spied on and set up and lied about and harassed. If we really were crazy, all the stuff they do would trigger us. Which is what they're trying to do. Do you get it? They want to provoke us because these criminals that are doing all these noise campaigns and stalking and harassment, they couldn't handle it. They will snap. If you ask them what they asked us, they, they won't answer. If we did to them what they do to us just once, they would freak out. Why are you got a leaf blower standing on my door? And there's no leaves. And there's no leaves. Because they're Cletuses and Jethro's, the village idiots. But anyway, I digress. So, th this van is in the house, and I asked, what are you doing? Because I came from the other room, and I think I just got out of the shower. And uh, he said, oh, oh, sorry. I said, I'm not supposed to be checking out till tomorrow. And plus, like I said, it wasn't even checkout time yet. And he started literally backing up. His feet were backing up. He didn't turn around. He backed up out the door and mumbled something. I couldn't understand what he was saying. And then he got on the phone and walked off. All right. And I think that time he got into a white van. The second time, I didn't see what he got into. But he walked off and I got it on video. Carrying a big ASS leaf blower. And nobody was parked outside. How did he get there? So I called the people that I rented from and they said, oh, we don't have housekeeping. There's not supposed to be anybody there. You're paid up until tomorrow. Everything's fine. And then I said, well, I was going to pay for another week, but I don't want to have somebody. This is twice now because the other lady had come in. Oh, we, we didn't send them over there. It won't happen again. Don't worry. You're all paid up. We don't even have housekeeping. It's the weekend, right? I think this was Saturday is when this happened. So... I relax again or whatever, but I have my phone by me this time, so I was able to get it. The first time I didn't. So about three and a half hours later, funny enough, the Lord reminded me of the three and a half years in the trip. The same guy comes back, and when I when I was thinking about, it, I'm like, that's when I re looked at the video. I'm like, that's the same dude from earlier. So he knew I was there. This time, I hear a leaf blower out in the rain like an idiot. But it wasn't raining, though. But still, there's a leaf blower on this tiny porch, which you'll see. I made a video of it. And there's a, the leaf blower sounds like it's right at the door. So I started to walk towards the door to see what was going on. And I hear beep, beep, beep again. He was about to open the door. So I pulled the door open first. I'm not scared of him. And I confronted him. And th you'll hear it. That's what you'll hear in this video. And this time his response was, oh, I have to go. And he was, he sounded nervous 
and he's backing up backwards again with a leaf blower in his hand. And the Lord told me he could feel the power of the Holy Spirit in me. Praise the Lord. A lot of us have this, y'all. This is how powerful we are. You have to claim your power. The, if you, It's not us, okay, but it's Jesus who dwells in us that gives us this power. But we're, we don't use it for evil. We use it to help others. But if they're coming against us, breaking and entering, and the Lord showed me that was the day of uh, satanic kidnapping. This is amazing. That happened on the 31st of July. The first, which would have been two days ago. Today's the third. The first of August, August was a satanic ritual night. I didn't realize that when this happened. The Lord showed me later. It's amazing. So I thought they were coming in to try to get beignet or tamper with my food or just whatever they do. Steal little piddly things like my headphones or something like that. And um, no, the Lord said, look up satanic sacrifice days. And sure enough, August 1st was one. Today is another one, just so you know. But this is a satanic revel day or something where they do all kinds of nasty orgies with 7 to 17 year olds. That's how sick these freaks are. They are swarming the window right now, but I'm not I'm not looking. Okay, and praise the Lord, I got a cute little place, better than the other place. And I'll tell y'all how they greeted me <laughs> after I get this video off my chest. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. So the man started backing up when I said what you'll hear and the Lord said he felt the Holy Spirit also Archangel Michael was standing bes beside or behind me that's what father showed me so he saw it because a lot of these people are not human just so you know they're fallen angels this guy wasn't a fallen angel but he was demonically possessed okay he was human but he was demonically possessed but some of these high-ranking persecutors gang stalkers community-based tyrants they are fallen angels some of some of them okay you have to you have to have discernment so ask father for discernment but to get that you have to have accepted jesus into your heart so please do so all right hold on i'm trying to find it i think it's this hold on this is it hold on again You'll see him as he stutters and says, oh, I have to go. So sorry. Yeah, this is the third time. Oh, okay. I have to go. Yeah, the third time they've come by. I'm not checking out till tomorrow. Someone actually came in here with a code. Then I called. They said, no, you're fine. Paid up till tomorrow. And now y'all are back. Sorry, I got enough in my list, and it's okay. I'm so sorry. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Watch. You'll the see the leaf blow. This the third time they. Wow! They shut that off. Let me play it again. Now they shut the sound off. This is crazy. Hold on. Let me start it again. They clicked off of this. And there's a woman standing right outside the window right now. I'm not getting up. Yeah, this is the third time. Oh, okay. I have to go. I yeah, have to go. The third time they've come by, I'm not picking out <laughs> Yeah, you gotta go. Someone actually came in here. It was the him. Then I called. They said, no, you're fine. Paid up till tomorrow. And now y'all are back. Sorry, I got a nap in my list. And it's okay. I'm so sorry. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Bye, bye. Third time, y'all. This the third time they've come. Dang it! I don't know why that why it keeps hanging up. Hold on, let me find it. Cause I want y'all to see where the leaf blower is. Someone actually came in here with the code. Then I called. They said, "No, you're." I'm waiting until it gets to the part I can't fast forward on this. Crappy phone. He threw the towel over his sho shoulder to hide what his shirt said. Every time they come and open the door, and guess what he's carrying? 
A leaf blower. There he goes. Yep. A leaf blower, y'all. Okay. So that happened. And then I got the white vans down by the river. Well, I'll show this later because I'm making this too long. I've got multiple videos of the gang stalking buffoonery with white vans, including one with the van door open at around 11 p.m. and nobody around right outside the house. Right now, as we speak, there's a white van. And no, Chris, it's not down by the river. <laughs> Hi, Brother Chris. I love your comments, by the way. All right. So I moved from there. I'm like, forget it. I'm not going to pay for another week here. They're going to continue to come in. You know, I wasn't scared. It's just it's annoying and irritating. And you can't really leave because they poison a lot of our food. I've been poisoned over the years. Multiple times they succeeded in killing my other dog. He was six pounds. But this is before I had the Holy Spirit. Once I had the Holy Spirit, it's like, it, it's not, it doesn't affect me. What did the Lord say? He said, we'll be able to stamp, uh, trample over snakes and scorpions and nothing in any means shall harm us. And that's what I'm about to tell you. So I get to the new place. As soon as I get here, literally as soon as I shut the door, I hear a leaf blower. I'm like, really? So I ignore it. And I'm like, oh, this is a cute little place. Um, all the neighbors surround me. Um, they're like yelling and just saying fake stuff that you can tell is uh, a script. Then the guy next door comes out slamming trash cans right next to the window right as I go, try to lay down last night. Then they did it again this morning. Um, when I was first trying to get online, um, now they're saying that they're going to sell the house and they'll start showing the house, of course, right after I get here. But the most freaky thing is that the other place, um, maybe the day or two before I left there, there's a tiny little side porch area in the back, which they c completely... Um, orchestrate noise all day so you can't go out there and sit outside and hear the Lord. The whole point of the noise, just so y'all know, uh, just so y'all know is the Lord or Father, I was going to say, uh, regulators, is um, showed me that it's to lower our energy, get us upset, get our focus off the Lord, lower our vibration. I know it sounds new age, but this is what Father showed me. Um, keep us like off track and um, sleep deprivation so we don't make as good of choices and we don't hear Father clearly. And to get resonate at a lower energy level like these reptilians do. And that's what I'm about to show you. These are reptilians, a lot of these people. These This is real, y'all. So I go out the, or well, I was about to go out the back door until this was, this greeted me. <laughs> This creature greeted me. I took a picture of it through the back door, which they had tampered with and unscrewed that I told y'all about already. This was in the back, the tiny little back door area about four days ago at the other place. A reptilian. It was looking right at me, so here's a close-up of it. Look at it. This is probably a witch. Witches use black crows. They use uh, which, a black crow dive bomb, my little five-pound dog that I still have, back in New Orleans on a baseball field where nobody was. I thought, oh, I can finally let her run free because if I take her to a park, they let their pit bulls out, which actually attacked my other dog that they succeeded in killing and ripped part of his little ear off. Yeah. Um, never paid a cent. Never paid a cent. Wouldn't even take me to the vet clinic, the person that owned the pit bull. Yeah, this is what these monsters do. But they can infiltrate, they can take over crows, they can take over birds, they can take over uh, cats, they, uh, they take over, they even, even dogs too, y'all. But if there are pets, you just pray over them. They, I, I have not been shown that they have taken over Beignet. 
Now, they can traumatize our pets, but I don't think they can actually infiltrate and spy by them. But when you see something like that looking at you in the back door, it's pretty freaking freaky. But not as freaky as what happened yesterday. So I'd only been here a day, right? And I think, oh, I finally have a little backyard I can go sit back, sit on. Even though there's still no grass, there was a, there was a, you know, some little plants and shrubbery and stuff. Any little space is just, it's such a blessing to me because I'm usually stuck in horrible crackhead motel rooms. But anyway, I go out there. I'd been out there less than one minute and they start slamming trash cans. And they do this, TIs, just to let you know. It's their sign that we're trash and we need to be taken out. They'll cross my path and just say real loud, it's time to take the garbage out and pretend to be yelling at another neighbor, but they're all infiltrators. That's what I was gonna say. Love your neighbor as yourself, and I'm thinking, how do these people live with each other, live with themselves, and be so hateful to all the other neighbors? It's because they're all part of it. And guess what else? Love your neighbors as yourself. These monsters, don't love themselves they hate themselves you see they hate themselves they know they're doing evil some of these creatures that aren't aren't uh reptilian or demonic and they know they're doing evil but they're too cowardly prideful jealous self-seeking self-righteous greedy power hungry whatever to repent and turn to jesus and stop gang stalking the kind hearts which is us that are persecuted that don't care about worldly things so they actually hate themselves so love your neighbor as as yourself that's actually what they're doing you see because what's good is bad and bad is good up is down and down is up in satan's kingdom that's why he mocks everything the most high does so i just found that interesting father had shared that with me several months ago and he brought that to my attention so after the trash can slamming they start doing their fake is a fake act real loud how the the house is now for sale and they're going to start showing it tomorrow which would be today as more harassment to me and so i'm like you know what i just wanted to come outside i wanted to sit outside and sip my coffee and enjoy just one little one little day in nature even though it's just a small little little backyard i never had a backyard i haven't had a backyard in 10 years probably so i was so excited but no they're gonna ruin it so then they start slamming doors one neighbor's using a leaf blower right by the wall where where i'm sitting the other neighbor is slamming trash can lids and then in the front is a white vehicle with the um hood up and they're all of a sudden working on their car this looks like a brand new car by the way yeah right then they slam the car door in the trunk and the hood over and over again and hit the beep 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 like they're setting the alarm over and over and over and i just said quietly to myself but i know they can hear because there, a lot of these are not human they're reptilian so they have the ability to hear us they might even be able to hear what we're thinking it, put a comment down if y'all know that if father showed y'all that because i believe <coughs> hold on let me get clear my throat <clears throat> i believe a lot of these non-human serpent seed they can hear our thoughts i know it sounds weird but they're not human all right so i calmly said but i said it out loud and because i knew on every side my enemies encamp around us right i said oh well if y'all are gonna make noise i'll just go get my uh my headphones so I go in and get yet another pair of headphones that I bought and I sit back outside and I was smiling. Um, I was listening to my music and I'm like happy looking up because I don't have to hear them. Right. This is amazing how the Lord protects us. So this is actually a this is actually a it sounds like it's negative, but the Lord worked it for my good. So I was out there maybe 20 minutes and I was, you know, thinking, oh, I'll get a little bit of sun on my face and all that because I hardly ever get to enjoy sitting outside. And if you're having to walk lugging bags, that's not a fun time to get sun. It's like 
you, like I said, I had heat exhaustion, but the Lord showed me it was also um, directed energy weapons 5G. But see how I get off track, Jack, clickety-clack. So about 20 minutes went by, and my headphone thing skipped. So it hurts my ears like this to hear the skip while the headphones are on, so I took them off. Right as I take them off, I thought, well, I'm going to praise the Lord. I don't hear any noise because when I put them on, that's when they were slamming trash cans, honking car alarms, slamming car doors, and using a leaf blower. Okay? So this was in a 20-minute period. They, they all magically stopped. And so i said oh wow it's peaceful i'll praise the lord i'll take this little amount of time while there's no noise to praise the lord and that's when i heard, heard that's exactly what it sounded like well maybe not exactly but you get it a rustling i told y'all i have bionic ears i know a lot of us do a lot of us can see and hear like bionic it's part of our gift from father because we have to have it. just like when people are blind their, their hearing has, is heightened, right? I can see like miles away. My eyesight is not as good for reading anymore, but it's still, it's really not bad. I've only got to wear the, like the lowest grade glasses. And that's because of computer use for years and years with only one light bulb in every place I go, all the lights burn out. The Lord also said, that's part of our energy, our power, right? But anyway, I hear the rustling. I'm like, honestly, I thought I was going to see this thing. I thought it was one of these. Even though I'm in another place. And I was like, okay, where's the lizard? It was a freaking huge snake. Yes, a snake. And guess what I heard after I saw it? Slithering from the side of the yard by the wall where the leaf blower, the leaf blower had been. It was over the wall and going up the little tree in the yard that I'm in from the other yard. And I hear the door slam next door. They put it there. These freaking witches put a snake. And when I say huge, I don't know how long it was because I saw it slither up the tree. And then I don't know where it went. It still could be out there. I don't know. It was about this fat. I'm not even kidding, y'all. This fat. So who knows how long it was? If anybody knows what a red, it I mean, not red, it was a brown and green. Yeah, there's the lime green, Brother Chris. Lucifer, lion loser's color. Snake. In a subdivision. I mean, really? And then the door shuts. They thought I still had my headphones on. Of course, I wasn't going to go try to grab it. I went inside and I don't know what happened to it, but praise the Lord, my dog wasn't out there and I wasn't sitting there laying there with my headphones on. This is what they do. Now, it could have been, maybe it could have came from, from outside somewhere, but in a subdivision surrounded by concrete everywhere and the door slams after that and it came from the other person's yard, I'm sorry. And the fact that I just put the headphones on, I'm sorry. But I am almost 100% positive it's these demonic witches. And they, they have snakes for pets. They have snakes and spiders and evil crows and things like that. Any kind of abomination to the Lord, that's what they like. They're, they're, they're wicked. So that happened. So that was real fun. And then I was like, okay, Lord, am I not even going to be able to enjoy the backyard? What are they going to do next? going to be laying there and a snake crawls on me and the Lord said no he's protecting me and not not to not to uh, have fear right well I had just mentioned to one of these people on the phone these creatures when I was calling around trying to find a different place and I was telling them I have a little dog or whatever and there's they said well that would be okay there's a $200 non-refundable pet deposit for my little four pound 15 year old dog that does absolutely nothing but whatever I was just like desperate to find a place and they know that because they keep us like this and uh, um, I said okay and then she said I, I'm sorry she, 
the other place said, I'm sorry, I love pets, but um, the person that owns the property doesn't allow pets or whatever. And then she was going on and on about her, her dogs, and she loves animals, and she happens to have the same kind of dog I do. And she loves all, she loves all animals, and I, or she loves dogs, that's what she said. And I said, I love all animals except for snakes. <laughs> so a few days later, what do they put in the backyard? You guessed it. But guess what? I did, I did walk in the house, but I didn't jump up and run. I walked in, I looked out for a minute, and then a little bit later I went back outside. I said, I, I don't have fear. Because you know what? If that snake tries to bit me, beat me, beat me. <laughs> I'll beat you like a snake. Um, if that tri snake bites me or tries to, the Lord God is going to protect me. As well as y'all. If you have accepted Jesus. Just like when Paul got cast off the ship after the shipwreck. And they thought he was a god. And then a viper jumped out at him. I think I think it was like there's by the fire. And a viper bit him and linked onto his hand. And they thought, oh, he's he's under a curse. Because he got shipwrecked and now look, that didn't kill him, so now the viper's gonna kill him, right? Because it was supposed to be poisonous. And he shook it off into the fire. That's what we can do. Because we have the power, again, the Lord keeps reminding me, to trample over snakes and scorpions. And nothing shall in any way harm us. And so, I don't have any fear. So, guess what happened this morning? So, I got, go outside this morning, and of course, it did cross my mind because I've never in my whole life seen a giant snake in a yard. Ever. Ever. So, this morning... Uh, I thought about it. I'm like, man, I don't know if I want to go out there. Maybe it's under the chair. They put it, they, they, you know, put it, put it somewhere to jump out at me. And again, the Lord said, I'm protecting you. I opened the door, y'all, and a beautiful, beautiful, this wasn't a pigeon. This was a dove. A dove flew over my head so low, it was below the roof level, Okay. I'm going to say it was this far over my head. A little bit taller than what the snake was, right? And it cooed as it flew, and it landed on a pole next to where the snake had been. And I'm going to show y'all. I got a picture of it. I didn't get a picture of the snake because I, I went inside to get my phone, and when I went back out, it wasn't there. That's why I said I don't know where it went because I was trying to go inside to get to get the phone to get a picture of it so I could like try to find out what kind of snake it was. All I remember was it was very fat and it was brown and green. But here's the dove this morning. This is the pole, which is, it's, um, this is the fence of the neighbor, one of the neighbors, okay? And so this is the line, so this little pole thing, I guess, is part of the fence that they took down, maybe so they could stare at me more. There was probably more of a fence there, and they probably took it down. That's how desperate they are to, to watch. Like the Pharisees watched Jesus to accuse him. There's the dove. Isn't that amazing? But when I got here, the, the same day I got here, um, it was probably the same dove flew and landed on the roof. So that was a cool greeting for when I first got here. And then, of course, they started their torment. I just find that amazing. So just so y'all can see, that's the shrubbery by where the snake was. And there's the dove. Like, that's Father, the Holy Spirit, protecting. It was amazing. The timing is what's the really coolest part. Anyway. Um, okay, so... So that happened, and then more confirmation. So I'm in this room, and I'm looking, okay? See the ceiling? Sis Karen from Sarah Forth Calling, who's alive. Her, her light body is up there, y'all. We're going to be reunited with her soon. Off of Sarah Forth Calling Channel, or Karen Warrior Against the Darkness was her last channel that just recently passed. Her earthly body, okay? But her spiritual body is up there. I'm telling y'all the truth. She's, she's good. She says, hi ho! 
Anyway, um, we both have seen this. It was uh, made of wood. The only difference is, well, actually, wow, I just noticed. The whole wall is wood. Other than the closet. Look, y'all. See this? That is actual wood, but they painted over it yellow. This is what I saw in many visions, and she saw it. And we both saw like the wood, but it was brown wood, but this is, there's brown wood under it, right? And they just painted it gold. Wow, even that. It's yellow, we'll, we'll just say gold. And it was like a little building like this with a ceiling just like that. And it was the barn where we're hidden for safety and also where we're being fed by father in a kitchen, which is kitchen means being fed, fed the word. And um, also I saw the same kind of building, but again, brown wood. So just imagine, just imagine that there, but the wall is, is brown. Okay. And, uh, there was horses, and that's, we got our horse to ride alongside of Jesus. This is amazing, y'all. Also, this is funny, I'm just noticing this. Look at that. Look at this. These, you can't tell me that these places aren't set up for us. I just noticed this. A freaking lizard. Oh, there's a leaf blower. Y'all get to hear it. A lizard and look at that red peeking out of a window that's amazing but that's not what I was gonna show y'all I'm sorry I'm don't want to be on camera I'm a scare um there's a ladder get it Jacob's ladder the ladder going up to heaven this this is amazing Wow and then over here is what I showed in the other video where I played the song I was like what is this thing that's us. We're the saints riding horses. We've got our sword, right? See the sun up there? The sun with the moon under her feet. Wow! Look at this! No way! I put this in the last video that's real short, but I didn't notice. I didn't come close enough to this. The sun has feet. This is this is for us, y'all. I'm telling y'all. This is not a normal decoration to have in a room room. It's got a sun with feet and the moon under her feet. All right? And then here is us. We're the saints. We've got our horse. We've got our sword, which I saw myself. We have three other archangels. Yes, that's right. Some of us are archangels with flaming swords of fire. And mine was either gold Hopefully y'all heard that. All right, let me start over again. I don't know if y'all heard this. What I was saying, I was moving the thing around so I don't know if y'all could hear me. This room rental has that in here. What is the likelihood of these things being in here? A lizard, which just greeted me in the last place, which I showed y'all the video of. I'm just seeing this, y'all. Then the ladder going up to heaven, Jacob's ladder, right? And then over here, what I just showed y'all, and I don't know if it picked up because I have to be right in front of this, the, um, the microphone to get it to pick up. But what I just showed y'all was us, a symbol for us, the saints with a sword of fire, which I saw myself with, with three other archangels. And my sword was either a, a gold color or it was a, like a purplish fuchsia color. All right, and then we're riding a horse and the sun with the moon under her feet and the sun has feet. The sun has feet in this sculpture. But here, I want to show you all the rest. I'm not going to say anything and then I'll come back so you all can see it. Go back and look at the picture if y'all couldn't hear what I was saying. Go back and look at the picture now. The sun has feet with the moon under. Okay, and then 
what are we doing? This is a representation of the saints. We are trampling on the serpent. He's under our feet. This, there, I'm sorry, y'all, but this kind of stuff, this is not normal. People do not have these decorations, and it happens wherever I go. We have a boat right up there, okay? And if y'all fo been following me, last year, the beginning of January, when I was being tormented by all these Satanists in this one building, and they called the cops on me after keeping me up every single night for weeks, banging and slamming and jumping because they were living above me and on either side and harassing all night. I calmly said in my room, okay, if y'all are going to keep me up again tonight, because I, I couldn't even think. I was having like one to two hours of sleep a night for weeks. That's torture. It's sleep deprivation, which is what they love to do. I said, okay, if y'all are going to continue to harass and stomp and bang, and I even caught them saying, oh, run up and down the stairs in front of a room. Like, I caught them saying that, and I caught them saying about getting my dog. They love to throw, I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. I said, okay, if y'all are going to continue to keep me up. And I didn't yell it. I said it inside my room. But they listened. I said, then we'll just have Bible reading. So I started reading the Bible, and about 30 minutes later, I get a knock on the door. It's the cops telling me there's complaints that I'm too loud. This is what these monsters do. But back then, that... The videos that I made, it would be from January, like, I don't know, maybe January 5th, 6th, something like that, till the, maybe the 25th or something. I was there about three weeks. I paid for a month, but they ran me out. I couldn't even take it anymore. I didn't leave because I was scared. I left because I had to get sleep. But um, there was a boat. There was a ship. And the place looked similar to this. And I had a loft. This is amazing. So it's come full circle. Do y'all see? This is amazing how the Lord is really, really speaking. All right. So now let's get to this part. Um, all right. So there's red tides in Florida. As we know, Paul Bagley was talking about it. He's in Florida. And... Uh, it's toxic, uh, people that are on the beach, which we had this th last year and then the year before that, that people that are on the beach um, are having breathing problems and they're saying not to go on the beach or whatever, and it's back. And it, it's killing all the sea life and the sharks, which can usually take stuff like this more than other uh, sea creatures. They are actually relocating, migrating, whatever to the canals for safety. And so one third of the sea life, the Bible tells us, will be killed. That's what's happening. One third of the water shall turn to blood. That is making this algae that's creating it is making the water look like blood. Red tide, okay? Then Obama, who I've told y'all, the Lord showed me he is the Antichrist. He showed it to me before he was ever elected. The first time. I didn't even know who he was. And the Lord said, you're looking at the Antichrist. So he is. And now he's back on the scene. If you know what I mean. And uh, there's some sort of thing. I only heard a little bit of it. And I want to give a shout out. Um, Brother Jeff had sent me this guy named Steve. Oh man. Steve Fletcher. Steve Fletcher. Okay. This is his, this is his word. I was only able to watch about four videos last night, and they were all very short. Just the Lord is really working, and I'm having a lot of other things going on, like personal things and stuff. But I was at... Hi, Renee. Well, come here. Come here. Oh. You're hiding over there? Oh. Renee was sleeping, my little dog. And uh, she got up looking for me. Oh. I'm right here. Here I am. Um, anyway, he, uh, Brother Jeff had sent me talking about Steve Fletcher had like some sort of similar thing that I was shown by the Lord. And this is another one. So uh, Brother Jeff didn't send me this. It was in my feed. And the Lord said, listen to this. And it's a real quick video. And I apologize. I don't know which one it was titled because I'm talking off the cuff. But this is 
popping into my head about Obama. Well, he said something about there, Obama's having his 60th birthday bash, and they're having 200 workers, you know, hired people to help, right? And he came up with 200 meaning something. And I don't remember what he got that it was to mean. But the Lord does things with multiple meanings that we could never come up with. What I got immediately, the Holy Spirit told me 200. 200 workers next to the Antichrist. What are the 200 workers? The 200 fallen angels that fell with Lucifer. These are surrounding Obama and helping him do these evil things. So his 60th birthday bash is a red flag red flag speaking of birthday today is sister karen sarah fourth calling it's got her fourth calling she's up there she's ruling and reigning with jesus and we're going to see our sister soon um sis karen's birthday is today so happy birthday sister and you got your new name sarah up in heaven Speaking of that, y'all, speaking of that, back in 2017, um, since Karen and I had been talking since the end of 2016 is when we were connected by Father. Again, if y'all don't know who I'm talking about, she was an awesome saint, believer in Christ, a very anointed seer for Father, for the Most High God. She was always being attacked by witches and black magic and Satanists and voodoo practitioners, all the crap they do to a lot of us. And um, she had a lot of health problems and she just, she got to go home last month on June 15th. Well, now it's been a little over a month, June 15th. But she had the channel that most people knew her by was Sarah Forth calling. That's when I met her. She had that channel. And then her last channel was... Karen, warrior against the darkness. There's witches that are still out attacking her. And shame on y'all. The Lord sees what you're doing. You are going to answer to him. And I know who you are, by the way. And I know you're infiltrating and trying to uh, attack me in my dreams. Just so you know, witches and Satanists and voodoo practitioners that are trying to harm God's elect, all your wicked deeds and curses and spells and rituals and demons that you're sending on us, they are going back on your own head 100 fold and you're going to walk out what you were trying to harm us. Just that's your little warning. You better cease and desist. Anyway, yeah, they're, they're still attacking her after she's passed. That's how wicked these witches are. <laughs> yeah, they're wicked witches. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live, saith the Lord. But way back in 2017, I made a video about it, and I didn't write down the title. If any of y'all know the video or you have time to find it, I'm almost positive it was in 2017. And I was living on my boat because I had nowhere else to, to stay. I couldn't afford an apartment or anything. And the Lord said, get a boat. Get a boat, right? And I was really nervous because it was all my savings. It's just a little rinky-dink sailboat. And I asked the Lord for a sign. Is this, is this you, Father? I had three signs, but the main one was, he said, ask the name of the boat. Well, I never owned a boat before, so I didn't even think about that. The name of the boat that this boat came with, this little sailboat, was Amazing Grace. I'm not even kidding. And I was like, wow. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, okay, Father, I know this is you. Back then is when the Lord gave me the name of our team, a small group of us are going to be coming back and battle the fallen once we have our light bodies, save souls and rescue the, lot, the loss in the second part of the trip. Our name is called the Regulators. That's when he gave me that. But on that boat, I was given a dream that I lived at 923 Valiant Street. I said this in the video, okay? 923 Valiant Street. And Sister Karen was in the dream. I didn't get to see her face, but I was given the knowledge that I knew it was her. And she was 
it was her body but instead of her face it was a bright white light and that's what i get for anybody that's on team jesus the witches i get to see your faces i know who you are especially you that attacked me last night and the night before the most high god is coming for you you better repent and cease and desist okay getting back to this so i saw i lived at 923 valiant street and i was apartment number seven and sister karen sarah fourth was apartment number three seven and three was confirmed over and over again all right right now this new place no it's not 923 but the name of the street means valiant i'm not even kidding y'all it's it's amazing i couldn't believe it i'm like what so we're getting very close and then the number i'm not going to give out my street number even though they, these creatures already know where i'm at but the name of the or the number of the new place that i just moved into on the first which means new beginnings means fine lin fine linen each believer is awarded by christ at his return we are out of here y'all we have already won through Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. I got to check my dog. And you guessed it. Talk amongst yourselves. Danae. Oh. Oh. She's in her little, uh, her little doggy bed. <laughs> I got her a little doggy bed because we have to move so much. And she's 15. And she, she's like always like where are we she gets confused right where are we at this isn't my home are you too good for your home go to your home that was a happy gilmore sorry flashback so i got her this little uh doggy bed that you can squish up because i can only carry so much i'm on foot right and uh well i take cabs to some places if they show up for me but you get what i'm saying i have to lug luggage and i don't drive or anything um but this squishes up. Well, my dog's name is Beignet because she's brown with white sugar like a beignet. She's from New Orleans and she's sweet. And I drink a lot of coffee and eat beignets. <laughs> but the net, so a beignet is a donut. It's a New Orleans donut, right? Um, the name of the bed, I didn't know this. I'm like, no way. Because I typed in the kind of bed I wanted, the little cute little kind it's called the donut so the beignet is sleeping in the donut <laughs> i'll show y'all a picture all right hold on just a second hold on a second oh here it is Look at the baby. And you witches who take her picture and do witchcraft, it's going back on your own head a hundredfold in Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach's mighty name. My dog is off limits, criminals. All right, so getting back to this. So your enemies encamp around you. Now this is especially for targeted, persecuted, empowered, chosen individuals. Angels on the front lines for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because that's who you are. You need to claim it and know how powerful you are. Just know it. Do lights ever blow out when y'all walk by? Because they do me. They've done it my whole life. That's our energy. My whole life people are like, man, I wish I had your energy. Or they'll say, what are you on? I want some. Now, if I drink coffee, it's even worse. But I always have energy. And that's Father. He gives it to us. Anyway. So this morning. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to go in order. What he gave me. Alright, so this morning I opened to this. After, of course... Um, being woken up by slamming trash cans right outside my window. Like they position them so close to the window that it's almost hitting the window where I sleep. Wherever I go. This isn't just one place. This is wherever I go. For the days, this is, um, this is this? Luke. Luke, I am your father. Luke 10, 43. 
Or I mean, no, I'm sorry. Luke 19, 43. For the days shall come upon thee that thine enemies shall cast a trench about thee and compass thee round and keep thee in on every side. That's that's us, TIs, empowered saints. This is talking about Jesus now. And, and he, Jesus, taught daily in the temple, but the chief priests and the scribes and the chief of the people sought to destroy him. That's how jealous they are of us because we have Jesus in us. You see, it's about Jesus Christ and what he did for us. And these monsters hate him, so they hate true followers of Jesus. By the way, if you're not being persecuted, it may not be to the extent, I'm, I'm sure it's not to the extent that I am, but if you're not having persecution, you might want to check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right. And, and see that you're truly giving your life to Jesus. Okay, it's not too late. Even you witches on this channel, it's not too late for you. No matter what you've done, as long as you have bla have not blasphemed the Holy Spirit, you can be saved. You need to stop your gang stalking, stop your witchcraft, stop your lies and your spying and your stalking and your murdering and your your satanic rituals and your your adultery and your fornication and your I'm going to say it even drunkenness because that's been my slip up and all your sins. Repent, 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 and turn to Jesus Christ, and He will forgive you. And then you're gonna, you're slowly gonna be given. You're slowly gonna be getting, getting out of it. Okay, He takes away, like with me, He started taking away different things I struggled with. A couple of them went away immediately, but there was one that's my strong man, my stronghold that Satan would use. Once I have a given a crack in my armor, then he comes in. So we have to be aware and in prayer and always be on guard, always be on watch. But it's not too late for you. Even if you're doing witchcraft right now, even if you're a gang stalker sent to this channel, Jesus wants you to know he loves you. And please repent that you're being used by the enemy who does not love you. You're not going to get the things that he's promised you. Lucifer is a father of lies. He's been a liar from the beginning. He's a serpent in the garden. Funny. Because that's what was there yesterday. Wow! I had a serpent in the garden. And I had a dove come. This is amazing, y'all. Wow! But it, Lucifer is the father of lies, okay? That's why y'all all think everyone else is lying. Because you know you're lying. You know the evil you're doing. That's why y'all all are obsessed with you gang stalkers. Community-based agents, which are actually, you're the criminals. That's why you all have spyware and stuff in your houses because you know what you're doing to us i don't have spyware i can go get it and watch y'all i don't care i don't care to watch y'all i have my father i have my focus on the lord now i'll go and if you're staring in my window i'm gonna go see what you're doing but i don't monitor what you're doing go live your life but your life is fleeting those who seek to save their life meaning you gang stalkers who are too scared to stand up for what's right and go with the system and do whatever you're told, including getting the the Vizax, which is changing your DNA and just the seed of the serpent, just so you know. You're going to lose your life. You're going into the lake of fire. It's not a joke. But those of us, especially on this channel and other channels that are of highly targeted, persecuted individuals, believers in Christ, those of us who have given our life up to follow Jesus, we will gain our life in the next. That's why it says, those who seek to, <clears throat> to save their life shall lose it. And those who lose their life in this life shall gain it in the next. This is not a joke. Why do you think, gang stalkers, all of y'all are told to come and do these things to, to me or to others like me? Why? Do I seem like a threat to you? Like just sitting outside quietly with a with a cup of coffee or reading my Bible or walking my little dog. Huh? You know I'm telling you the truth deep in your heart. If you still have your soul, you know I'm telling you the truth. And you know that the ones that are telling you to harass me are actually the evil ones. You need to stand up for what's right. It's very, very 
late in the game is all I'm going to say. And the game is almost over and you've already lost. We who believe in Jesus Christ have already won the battle. That's what I want to say. The Lord gave me that song this morning. And the name of it is Family of God. Go listen to it. Family of God by the Newsboys. That's the song the Lord gave me this morning. And it says, this is a message to the saints. The tables have been set, so take your place. There is no more condemnation, only grace. The other song he gave me starting about a week ago when I was really being attacked at the other place, I'm going to tell y'all after I finish the scripture. So let, let me get it on the... the um, get it on! Um, let me get it on the song so I don't forget. Okay. For the day shall come upon thee, thine enemies shall cast a trench about thee, and come compass thee round about, and keep thee on every side. All right. Then we go to Luke. Luke twenty. One through four, or one through three. Okay, so if you're highly targeted, persecuted, empowered, then. You probably are used to being uh, interrogated and grilled about everything. Everything. It could be the most little, minute thing. So what happened the other day when I was leaving, I was moving my bags out, okay, waiting on the cab, which actually showed up, praise the Lord. Nine out of ten cabs won't come for me. Buses uh, drive past me when I'm waiting for them. I'm, I'm not kidding, y'all, for years. This has been going on for years and years. Anyway, um... A woman is walking by and there's a little picket fence that I go out of, but it's it's shut and then you just push it open. The whole time I've been there, so for what, a month almost? No one has ever opened or offered to open the fence for me when I've gone in and out. But they're there to, to find out where I'm going next. However, I believe this woman was sent by father. All right, number one, nope, she wasn't wearing red or black. To be honest, I think she had on white and gold. Wow! And blue! Yes! Blue! I've been seeing blue. Archangel Michael's color has been everywhere for me. Everywhere lately. But, um, like a cobalt blue. Or like, you know, like a sea blue. I've seen it everywhere. And I, I believe that symbolizes Archangel Michael and going through the firmament, which is the sky, which is actually water. But anyway, this woman comes up. She had blonde hair, probably mid-40s, kind of cute. Um, a smaller lady and, you know, average size, but shorter than me. I'm pretty tall. And as I, wa I stepped down the step before I could get to the little picket fence, which is right there. It's like just one more step. She opens the gate and she says, let me get that for you. And I uh, immediately I'm thinking, cause that's what they do, right? They surround us and then interrogate, which she did do. But I believe this was the Lord doing this. He sent her. And uh, I, I said, oh, thanks. I got it like that. And she goes, are you leaving now? And immediately it sounds like a gang stalker, right? You're leaving? Where are you going? Uh, do you, what, what's the address? I mean, they'll, they'll be that bold sometimes because there's a, there's a gang of them. They could never do this on their own like we do. We stand alone, right? Just like Jesus did. We walk in Jesus' shoes literally other than we, I pray that we don't have to be tortured on the cross, but I haven't been shown that. But we die to self daily, so we pick up our cross daily to follow Him. So we are walking in Jesus' steps, up, in Jesus' footsteps, in a way, but not to the extent. I'm not. I'm not in any way saying that we're like Jesus. No way am I saying that. But you know what I get. We're. Bit, you know what I mean. We're. We're getting persecuted on a daily basis, and so immediately I thought, here we go again. I can't even leave. I just wanted to leave. It was early in the morning. I didn't want to be harassed. Can I please just get out of here without any more harassment? So that my instinct was to say, you better repent, gang stalker. But I didn't. I turned and I, she said, oh, are you leaving now? And I said, uh, no, not yet. Like that, because I actually wasn't. I was just moving my bag out. And, uh, you know, to wait on the sidewalk for the, for the cab or whatever I was doing. And uh, she said, she said something else to me, and I don't remember what it was. It was probably just some, you know, whatever. Or I hope you have fun or whatever. And then I said, 
I said, thank you. Oh, and she goes, I'll get it behind you like that. And I said, no, you don't have to. I'm going back in like that because I was going to get more bags. And and then I said, thank you. And, got, and then she started to walk off. And I said, thank you. God bless you. Jesus loves you like that. And she turned and she goes, thank you. You're an angel. Yep, that's exactly what she said. You're an angel. And it was like the Lord was comforting me saying, okay, they're going to continue to persecute in the next place, but I am with you. And here is one of mine that's come to, to let you know you're not allow, alone. Though our enemies encamp around us, T.I. Saints on the front lines for Jesus, we have angel. I can't even talk right now. I, I think I need to wrap it up. We have angelic armies around us. In the sky, chariots of fire are there, and then there's angels on this earth in disguise. That's what I wanted to say. Watch the movie Gabriel. Not I am Gabriel. Gabriel. I think it's from like 20, anywhere between 2012 to 2016, and it's kind of a dark movie. But in the movie, I'll try to find it and link it, okay, y'all? Let me write that down. I think y'all need to see this if you're heavily persecuted and you don't know why you need to see this movie even though it's kind of you know it's kind of graphic in parts with blood and things it's what's going on in this world the world is completely in darkness in this movie again not i am gabriel with some little kid this is gabriel and uh anyway um michael comes back or no, Gabriel comes back. In this movie, of course, they flip it because Satan mocks what God means for good. So Michael is a bad angel in this movie. But Gabriel is a good angel. And we all know that Michael is actually a very good angel. So, But you see what I'm saying all. But some of the things that go on in this movie is what we're going to. And Gabriel's like, what happened to all y'all? And he finds, I think it's Raphael. Raphael, Archangel Raphael, which is another high up of God's angels, is hiding, living alone as a recluse, which a lot of us are, but the Lord has made us, put us in hiding. We're the hidden ones spoken of in the Bible. We're actually called the hidden ones in the Bible. The Lord allows us to be isolated, though these gang stalkers think that they've made us this way. The Lord has allowed it for our protection and for us to grow with him because we're being trained one on one with the Most High God. Yes, he is our personal tutor. Yo, you heard me? Isn't that amazing? But Gabriel comes down and Michael is actually a bad angel already on the earth. And Raphael is isolated by himself as a recluse, as a hermit out in the desert in a, in a travel trailer, funny enough. And because uh, I lived in one until I stole that. And... Uh, He's has a bad drinking. He's an alcoholic. He's got a severe drinking problem because he can't take all the pain of, of this world. And he's just, you know, exhausted. And then one of the other archangels, and I can't remember her, who it is. It may be Archangel Uriel. I can't remember because it's been like three years since I saw that movie. She is a high ranking archangel and she is now a prostitute. And I think she's hooked on drugs or something. And the fallen have like infiltrated her so bad that they've, she didn't sell out to Satan, but she's being used by the fallen angels. It's amazing. And, uh, oh boy, we got a whole gang of them. If y'all saw the clown show outside my window. Anyway, <laughs> they even get their kids to wear red and stare in the window. It's just so sad. But they're seed of the serpent, some of these. Don't think little kids don't gang stalk. They're part of it too. It's very sad because their own parents sell them out. But some of them aren't human. Some of them are actually demons. All right, so just check that movie out, okay? So anyway, getting back to this. So now we're in Luke 21. And it came to pass that on one of those days, as he taught the people in the temple, this is Jesus, preached the gospel of the chief priests, and the scribes came upon him with the elders. So here come the fake phony pastors, the government agents, the cops, you know, the ones that stalk us. They spoke unto him saying, tell us 
By what authority do thou do these things? Who is he that gave thee the authority? And Jesus answered and said unto them, I will also ask you one thing, and answer me. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or of men? Well, they couldn't answer because they knew there was no right answer. And then Jesus responded, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. That is a perfect way, and I need to remember that my own self, instead of spending time and energy answering questions to people that we shouldn't be having to answer to, that if you're being interrogated like I get almost daily when I go out by these stalkers, these bumbling buffoons, you don't have to answer. Instead, ask them a question. Well, I did that with a woman who illegally invaded my house, well, went my house with the rental place last week, claiming she was from the fire department, who are a big part of it, by the way. And uh, her answer, instead of answering when I said, how did you get the passcode to this place? Instead of going, oh, the owner gave it to me or it's a fire code and we have a set or whatever, giving some sort of a lame answer, which would have been a lie anyway. She says, don't worry, I won't use it again. No, she didn't use it again. A couple more stalkers came in and used it. This is what they do. So how, this is how we're to respond. It's how Jesus responded by answering the question with a question. And he did it again. He did it again. Let me see. Because I was shown this twice today. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, Luke. Okay, this is Luke 2020, and I found that funny because it's like 2020 vision. And they watched him, these gang stalkers, these seeds of the serpent, the snakes, the reptilians, the demons, the witches, the Satanists, the voodoo practitioners, oh my. And they watched him and sent forth spies which should fiend themselves just men that they may take hold of his words so that they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. But Jesus, okay, this is Luke 20, 23. But he, Jesus, perceived their craftiness and the serpent was crafty, right? What a, what a witch is called, or they call what they do, the craft. But he perceived their craftiness and said unto them, why ye tempt me? You see how he's answering it with a question, but what did he do? What did Jesus do? He perceived their evil, what they were up to. The Father has given that to me, all right? And I know to a lot of y'all, if you do not have discernment of character, please, on a daily basis, seek Father, read your Bible, talk to the Lord, and ask him to give it to you. Ask him daily. I asked daily for months and months, every single day, and I was filled with it, with, with uh, discernment of character. He will give it to you. Seek, and you shall find. Ask, and the door will be open. Okay, so do you see how they were watching Jesus? The enemies encamp around Jesus, so they're going to encamp around us. What did Jesus say? If they hated me, they will hate you also, because we are not of the world, saints, so the world hates us. So rejoice. For our redemption draws nigh. This is for a minute few, which the Lord told me is only about 10. 10 of y'all. And I'm one that has never, neither married nor been given in marriage. There's not many of us, okay? If you're not one, don't worry. This doesn't mean you're not an angel. This is just for a very select few. It might not even be more than five of y'all on this channel. But you know who you are. Those of you who have neither married nor be given in marriage, this is for you. Luke 20, 34. 
And Jesus said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given into marriage, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage, neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. You want to go check that out? It's Luke 20, 35, and 36. There are a select few that have a particular mission. So your plight, your walk is way harder than most. Even those that are highly targeted. Okay? There is a select few of you and the Father is telling me he wants y'all to... Hold on a minute. Oh man, you all saw my... Look, I look a mess, man. I have no makeup on my hair. I just got out of the shower and it's curly. I, it's still wet. I got it up. Oh, hideous! Look away! Anyway, yeah, there's a man standing in the window. I'm trying to ignore. But see how important this is? that These, these are fallen angels taking over these people that are coming in to spy on some of us. There's a, there's a group of us. It might not even be ten. It might only be four or five of us that have not married nor will we marry on this earth and our mission is a little bit different and the lord says he sees your pain he sees your distress he sees your loneliness he sees your exhaustion and that's for everybody on this channel that's that's a child of god and he's coming to get us we're about to go up be anointed with the holy spirit and come back down okay there's more of y'all. There's like a group of about 20 that are regulators. Regulators, mount up. That are also going to be doing the same thing. But it's just going to be a little bit longer. But don't give up because it will be, I believe, this year. So you don't even have a half a year yet. It might even be by Labor Day. I keep seeing Labor Day September 6th. So, but... We might, we might be out of here very, very soon. We could even be anointed while we're here. I don't know. I haven't gotten all of this yet. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, I'm over 50 years old. I've never been married. I've never been given in marriage. I've never had kids. I've never owned a home. I've never fit in. I've never had a job longer than a year. I've never owned anything except for a car. Well, I owned a car, a travel trailer, and a boat. They were all cheap. Well, no, the, the Jeep wasn't that cheap, but the boat was like $2,000, Amazing Grace. The um, travel trailer was like 1200 Just cheap little rinky-dink things. And, of course, they steal those or sink them or whatever they do. And uh, But the Lord has kept me. But what I'm saying, I've never voted. I don't, I've never been part of the system. I didn't believe in school even when I was a kid. I know some of y'all told me the same thing. I thought it was a, a total huge waste of time. I know a lot of y'all feel the same. That's because we're not from here. We know where we came from. And we're going home. So get ready. Okay. So again, the father gave me a funny song. Uh... So the other day I had a reptilian lizard thing looking out the window on my left. And then yesterday I had a snake which was on the right in the other place that I'm now at. I've got reptilians to the left and me serpents to the right. Stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> We're in the middle. We're in the middle of the firmament going through the firmament to get to Father. Our ship has come in. See? It's above our head. Our ship is setting sail. And there's the palm tree blowing in the wind. Wow. This is amazing. Okay, the next part. And by the way, if you're, you've been married and you, you heard that scripture, that doesn't mean you're not worthy. It's just your mission is a little bit different. Like I said, the Lord has showed me that there's less, there's ten or less, possibly only four or five, that have this particular mission 
And we're going to connect with Sister Karen, just so you know. All right. Then Father said, Luke 21, 42. And David himself said in the book of Psalms, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. And funny, in this room, I kid you not, there is a footstool. I don't want to show it because the place is a wreck. But any, Well, it's not a wreck, but I've got stuff th uh, thrown about. Yeah, there's a footstool. I don't think I've been in a place with a footstool before. Wow, this is really cool. All right. Beware of the scribes which desire to walk in long robes and look Catholics and all the fake pastors and priests and prophets out there. This is, this is them. Beware of the scribes which desire to walk in long robes, love greetings in the markets, and the highest seats in the synagogues and the chief rooms of feasts, which devour widows' houses and for a shoe make long prayers, the same shall receive great damnation. How they say the same monotonous prayers over and over again and get people to where they don't want to go to church. The joy of the Lord is not in these fake churches. It's like, it's like a task. If you have the joy of the Lord, you want to spend time in the Word. He wrote it in our hearts. This will be Luke 21, 8. Take heed that ye not be deceived. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, for the time draweth near. Do not go after them. But when, sh when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, like the fake riots and all that, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by. Not by and by. Not yet. Then he said unto them, Nation shall rise against nation. We're seeing it. Kingdom against kingdom. China. Um, Russia. Like I was shown. Great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. And famines. And pestilence. And fearful sights. And great signs shall be from heaven. But before all these they shall lay their hands on you. Persecute you. Delivering you to the synagogues and the prisons, which they just did to me, falsified a bunch of beep back on Febu February 2nd, I think. And into prisons being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what you shall answer. For I will give you mouth and wisdom will give you a mouth of wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Ye shall be betrayed. This is for UTIs, heavily persecuted, targeted, empowered individuals. This is Luke 21, 16. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. Now, I haven't been personally shown that I, that happens to me. I, I've been shown that I go up. But even if we do have our heads cut off, it's Father's going to make it very quick, painless, and we're, we're home. We go home. We're out. Of, I don't want to be in this evil world, y'all. I don't. I want out of here. Get me out of here, mister. When you shall see, ugh, when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies compassed with armies then know that the desolation thereof is nigh let them which are in Judea flee into the mountains let them which are in the midst of it depart out and let not them that are in the countries enter unto for these are the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled but woe unto them and I'm not going to say any more, but those are those that deny Jesus. And there's, okay, now I'm going to go to Luke 21, 20. And there shall be signs in the sun. Remember the thing that I just showed y'all? Sun. But there shall be signs, hold on. But there shall be signs 
and the sun and the moon and the stars upon the earth to stretch the nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great authority. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. That's for us in time science. Our redemption is drawing nigh. So we're seeing all these things. Everything is coming to pass that's written up. Because our Father who art in heaven is not a liar. He is not a man that he should lie. But Satan, the lion loser, is the father of lies. And all those that work for him also lie. And they're all going to turn on each other. Wow, y'all. This is amazing. I, I promise y'all. I just looked down. I've got this. Um, I, I thought, oh man, I'm not facing the microphone. So I turned this around. And I noticed... Under the table is this book. We believe the children. I mean, what in the world? We believe the children. What does it say? Unless you enter as little children. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, unless you seek me as little children, you will not enter. Meaning, are you as a little child? What is a little child? They're innocent. They don't plot and plan and s scheme and stalk and lie and spy and murder and steal like these monsters do who gang stalk us, right? They don't do that. They're innocent and they believe they have a knowledge when we're born, if we're human, we have a knowledge of the Lord written in our hearts. But once you deny Jesus, you slowly have that taken from you. You can't hear Father's voice anymore. You have to repent with all your heart, turn from your wicked ways, and seek Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I do, I would do it very quickly. Time is almost up. Okay. So this is what I'm going to end it with. This is another song by the Newsboys. Please listen to it. If you resonate with being one of God's angels sent here in the final hour, the final countdown, it's the final countdown to Luther. And uh, you have little things happen to you, like what happened to me where the woman said, you're an angel. And all I did was say, God bless you, Jesus loves you, right? But I've been called that many times throughout my life. And a couple of people have even said I look like one. And I see resemblance of like the old timey angels, like the ones that had longer, narrow faces. Um, I kind of see a resemblance with that with me, Sister Karen, and several of y'all on this channel, which is kind of funny. And then some of y'all look like angels portrayed today. It's, it's amazing. But it's, a, it's about our heart. It has nothing to do with the way we look. I don't even like coming on, on here and, and showing my face anymore because I very rarely ever even have time to do my hair or put on makeup. And I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore even though I used to. I still wear a little bit. But um, the Lord reprimanded me from that. Just so you know, if you're thinking, oh, you must not be a true follower and you're new to this channel. The Lord told me not to wear makeup, not to cut my hair, not to dye my hair or anything. When I lived on the boat in 2017 and I had to do that for about a year. And then he allowed me to start being able to, to wear makeup again. And I would have my hair done, but I don't trust any of these witches that are hairdressers. But So I do it myself. I just have it. But the Lord had me go through that to see if I would give that up. And these are my lovely nails. I don't think I've had my nails done in 10 years. Seriously. But... To each his own. If the Lord tells you not to do it, then don't do it. But he's told me I can again, but I was I had to go through that where I gave that up for a year. And Sis Karen, Sir Four Calling, also had the same thing. So I just don't like putting my face on here. It's easier to focus if I'm not looking at myself talking. I don't want to be a distraction to y'all. And um, it's not about me. 
But a lot of y'all say, oh, we miss seeing your face. So I, I come on here sometimes with, you know, talking or if a few times Father said they need to see your face for this so they can see the truth radiating. Okay. But anyway, that's mostly why I don't put my face on here. So we're wondering. So this is Love Riot by the Newsboys. This is especially for the end time saints. This is for uh, y'all that resonate with being one of God's angels. A good angel, not a fallen. If these streets could talk, they'd tell us things of shattered hearts and wars unseen. It's a battle we can't win alone. Right? We need saving desperately. He made a way, said, follow me. Give up your life for something more. What are we waiting for? Let's take it around the world. We'll start a fight and join the fight in this love riot. And he doesn't mean a fight like like these gang stalkers are doing. No, I'm not promoting riots. It means a fight for justice, spreading light, sending love, speaking truth, standing up for those who can't, calling out the enemy's tactics, no matter what. All right. Oh, what are we waiting for? Let's take it around the world. We'll start a fight and join the fight in this love riot. Oh, ready, set, here we go. From London to Tokyo. You got to unite and join the fight in this love riot. This is the main part Father wanted me to tell y'all. We are an army of the truth. We're on the march to rescue you. Don't have to make it on your own. We're holy rebels. And when we yell, the mountains fall, the oceans swell. This is the time to let them know. This is it. This is our time, y'all. This is what we're here for. Have no fear. Get out there. Speak truth. Stand up against these gang stalkers. Call them out and tell them to repent and turn to Jesus and spread God's light. This, this is the amazing part. We're holy rebels, and when we yell, that's my voice. Maybe that's why the Lord gave me a loud voice. My whole life, people said, man, your voice carries. Keep it down, down. Voices carry. We're holy rebels, and when we yell, the mountains fall, the oceans fall. Oh, you want to know something else funny, y'all? I'm not even kidding, y'all. Of course, they won't. Well, my one remaining family member... I've been asking for four or five years now to please send me some pictures of when we were kids. Haven't got any yet. They don't want me to have any kind of documentation or they, they want to erase a lot of us. But when I was a pitcher, I was actually the pitcher in high school. And then uh, for the Mustangs, funny, or no, no one. It was for the Seahawks. And then our, our school was, uh, our, well, never mind. I'm not going to say that. But. <clears throat> In um, junior high, my team was called the Rebels. I'm not even kidding. And that song used to be my song, too. We're the Rebel, yeah. We cried more, more. We're holy rebels, okay? We don't fit in. We don't go with the system. So we're cast out. We're made to be the bad ones. Oh, you didn't get the vzzz. You're, a, you're, you're causing all, they're going to say all this stuff. Just be prepared. Be prepared. But Father showed me that they're turning. Okay? Look at how these people that got the Vizax, the, the first ones that got it, which would have been like back at the end of last year or the beginning of this year, they're already starting to act different. They're, they're losing any kind of humanity that they had. Just becoming walking zombies. Tools for Satan. So, we can move mountains. We can make the seas part, just like with a faith of a mustard seed, we can move mountains, says the Lord in the Bible. And this song is amazing. So it's for us, y'all. We are about out of here. And uh, I'm starting to lose my voice. My voice. Um, thank y'all. Um, last month, a couple people donated. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, I haven't been leaving my PayPal account on there, but. I may put it on there this time, but um, I'm being protected, guided, and provided for by the Most High God. And He'll do the same for you 
once you're truly following Jesus Christ, if you're willing to give up everything to follow him. He loves y'all. It's not too late. Again, you witches that are trying to invade my dreams and all this other stuff you're doing. I see you. I know who you are. Just so you know. And I know a couple of y'all the Lord showed me. Oh, let me tell y'all a dream real quick. So night before last, I was attacked by witches in my dream, which is funny. That was the night of the satanic rebel sacrifice night. And they're doing it again today. But this time, I don't think they're sacrificing people. But they're harming people because they're doing nasty sexual things with 7 to 17 year olds. That's how perverted these freaks are. But you witches that did that the other night and then last night, I know who you are. And guess what? One of you is going to get saved. Maybe a couple, but I know one in particular. I'll just give you a hint. You got blonde hair. Um, the Lord is calling you to repent. He wants to save you. He wants to help you. I had a dream that I was being attacked by witches, y'all, night before last. And they were completely surrounding me in a circle, which is why they do things in circles. It's like some sort of a ritual that makes their power stronger. And so I'm standing there alone by myself. And I just said, everything you're doing to me, you're going to walk it out in Jesus' name. And I can't remember what all I said, but I said some a couple other things. And they all fled, except one, which is the one that I believe is going to get saved. And she walked over after they all scattered. There was like 10 of them. Sca, 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 scatter. And the one with blonde hair walked over towards me. And she said, I like that you weren't scared. Um, we've never seen that before. Basically, she was like saying, without saying it, that they hadn't met a true believer in Christ. They hadn't met someone with the Holy Spirit. And so they're able to do witchcraft. Not even, it doesn't even take, but just a couple of them, maybe even one of them. And, uh, and they can harm them or take them out. And what, what's the difference with me? And then I was talking to her, and I'm not going to get into all of it. But I said, you need to be saved. You need to give your life to Jesus Christ. You have a lot of demons in you. Some you've called on, you've invited in for power. And some have been sent to you by your own kind, by other witches. Because they harm each other. They're, they're not friends. They have no friends. They, they'll turn on each other in a heartbeat, these witches and Satanists. But anyway, and I started to cast the demons out. And she was screaming, screaming. And then I woke up and I believed that witches that were actually infiltrating my dreams were blocking me from healing this person. So you're, you're about to be set free. Just continue to pray. Have no fear, fear of those other witches in your coven that are attacking you, that are, that are saying if you get out of the coven. or And also this goes for you Freemasons that are, um, here we go, man with a trash can. He brought the trash can over in front of my window, his trash can from the other side of the yard, and flung it at me. I'm, I'm not kidding y'all. That's how angry they are. This is truth, y'all. Uh, you Freemasons and, and uh, law enforcement and government people, agents, politicians, anyone, any worker of iniquity that knows you're doing wrong and you really don't like it, and this especially goes for the witches and Satanists and Voodoo practitioners, Santeria practitioners. But one witch in particular that infiltrated my dream the other night. Father will forgive you if you cease and desist. Stop gang stalking. Stop doing witchcraft. Stop harming others. Stop doing rituals. Stop doing all kinds of evil. And you know what it is because it's bothering you. And you don't like what you're doing. It's not too late for you. You can repent. You have to repent by stopping all evil. Stop doing any kind of evil. Break ties with your coven. Even if they say you can't get out, they're going to kill you. It's better to lose your life in this life than, than lose it in the next. Okay? We are about out of here. Jesus is coming back any moment. You know I'm telling you the truth. In the, in the bottom of your heart, you know I'm telling you the truth. It's this... I believe it could be this year. No one knows the day or the hour. We know the season. And this is the season. You do not want to go into the lake of fire with the rest of the gangs talking, bumbling buffoons. You don't want to do it. This is serious. I normally joke and, and make funny, thi funny things on my channel or whatever. But right now, and this isn't my channel, it's Jesus. Right now, the Holy Spirit is 
is really speaking to me right now. This is very important. Drop your divination tools. Turn, throw away, or not, don't throw them away. Burn any satanic books, any witchcraft books. Break ties with all covens. Break ties with Freemasonry. Break ties with any kind of satanic organization you're in, including people that are stalking that are in the fire department. This is also for you. Even mailmen. Yes, this is for you. Stop. It's not your job is not worth your soul. You get it? They want you in fear of dying. That's why they orchestrated this scamdemic. The masquerade ball. Wearing a mask means you're muzzled. You're not going to say anything. You live in fear. If you have Jesus, you have no fear. That's how I can stand against all of you that come against me all day, every day, wherever I go, for years. Because I have no fear, because I have Jesus in me. Sometimes I might get startled, but I know that Jesus is with me. And I know where I'm going. I'm secure with where I'm going. Do you know where you're going? Do you know where your soul is going? If you don't have that security, then you have not accepted Jesus. You have to have him in your heart. How do you do that, you ask? You repent of all your sins, any sin that you can think of, and then say, and the sins that I haven't brought up, Father. Well, you probably don't call him Father yet. It was a walk with me. First I said, God. Then I said, Lord. And th then I say, Most High. And then I say, Father. I still say, Most High and Father. And sometimes I say, Lord and God. He knows who we're talking about. Satan is not God. Lucifer is not God. He's little G. He's a serpent. He's going into the lake of fire. That's why he's ramping everything up on God's elect. Who you witches on this channel that are listening and have come to rail me, including my new neighbors, you are working for Lucifer. He's a liar and the father of lies and you're living in fear. So you're not living. You're already dead. Do you get it? You must die to self to have your life. You repent of your sins. You stop doing witchcraft. You break all ties with it. With the enemy's camp, and that means walk away from your covens, walk away from your free masonry, walk away from the police station, unless you're going to speak up against the evil, corrupt things that the cops are doing. And the military are doing, walk away. It is not worth your soul. I'm telling you, the time is almost up. Clickety-clack on the track. <laughs> um... And you ask Jesus into your heart. You believe that he died on the cross for yours and my sins. Because I'm a sinner just like you. I have to repent every single day for a wrong thought I might do. Or I might say something with me and my big mouth that always gets me in trouble. But I love Jesus and I try my best to follow him. No one's perfect, not one. Repent of your sins. Believe Jesus died on the cross for yours and my sins. On the third day he rose... And he's coming back in the clouds. And he's coming on a wet horse. He's coming, y'all. Get ready, get ready, get ready. The Lord is coming. Father is sending archangels with flaming swords of fire to cut off the heads of the enemy's camp. And that includes the seed of the serpent and stalking. You don't want to be on the wrong team. Your team, Luciferians, your team is already lost. If you have a little bit of a soul left and you feel bad for what you're doing, please repent and get out of it. If they threaten to kill you or do evil or torture you, it's better that you go through that and save your soul than lose your soul in the fiery pit, the lake of fire, which is opening where they're going. By the way, when people are talking about they're smelling sulfur coming out of, um, coming out of these volcanoes and out of um, these... Uh, what do you call it? Like the ground is opening and these big holes are opening and they're smelling sulfur. That is the pit opening. The fallen angel smell of sulfur. If you, if you smell sulfur, you got a fallen angel around your ASS. They follow me. Azazel is always on my ASS. As is Brother Ken. Shout out to you, brother. And uh, he knows. And then Sis Karen also had Azazel on her all the time. Several of us do. And then there's other fallen angels, but he's like one of the high up ones. And then um, if you smell <laughs> poop, that is a demon. 
around you. Unless your dog poops or, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. And speaking of that, I bid you a doo-doo.